Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick video where I'm going to talk about a big misinterpretation that's going on related to intervals and more specifically to the fact that the intervals in between the notes are thought to be responsible for the sensations that the notes assume in musical contexts. Well, this is totally, totally wrong. I know it can come as a surprise, but the sensation that the notes assume in musical contexts is not dependent on the intervals that precede or succeed them. So it doesn't depend from the distance between that note and the previous note or that note and the next note. That's totally nonsense. It's not how our perception of musical pitch works. And this is driving ear training students crazy because they think that practicing interval exercises is the solution to all of the problem they have related to ear training. That's absolutely not true. The sensation that a note assumes in a musical context is not dependent on the distance between the note and its previous or next note. The sensation of the note, so whether a note feels unstable, stable, happy, sad, or whatever, only depends on the function that the note assumes inside the key. So let me take the instrument so I can make a practical example for you to properly understand and feel what I'm saying. So for example, let's start by establishing a C major key playing a 1-4-5-1 chord progression. Okay, right now you can feel that this is the resolution point where all the other notes will kind of feel attracted to. So if I play the scale, the C major scale, you can feel that this is the resolution point. This is not the resolution point. This is not the resolution point. Again, not the resolution point. Not the resolution point. Resolution point. Okay, so C right now feels, feels as uh, being the resolution point, the gravitational center of everything I'm going to play. So, if now I'm going to play some random notes in the key of C major, without paying attention to the intervals that I'm going to play, you will notice that C will still feel like the gravitational center, the resolution point. And in the same way, every other note will feel exactly the same as before, no matter what intervals I'm going to play. Resolution point, again. Resolution point. Resolution point. Resolution point. Resolution point. So you can clearly feel that I'm changing the interval in between the note. I'm playing, for example, I can play perfect fourth ascending, major second ascending, uh, minor sixth ascending, descending, and then when I hit C, it still feels like the resolution point. I can change the interval, so... Okay, minor third descending, and then uh, minor second ascending. Still feels, C still feels like the resolution point. So, again, let's make major seven, ma major seven, then let's do fifth descending, and then uh, major second descending, major second descending, feels like the resolution point again. And B feels like it wants to solve on C and feels like a tensive note no matter the interval that precede the note or that succeed the note. So C still feels like the resolution point and every other note in the key of C major feels like feels exactly in the same way, no matter the intervals that I'm going to play before or after them. You can make an example like this with your own instrument, just 
play a 1451 progression in order to establish to properly establish the major key you are playing in so for example in C major uh, the progression will be C major, F major, G major, and then C major. And this allows you to feel C as the gravitational center. So once you have established the key, you will notice that the sensations of the notes won't change, even though you play different intervals in between the notes. And this is a clear demonstration why intervals are not responsible for the sensation that a note assumes in a musical context. But the sensation is totally dependent on the function that the note assumes inside the key you're playing in. So I hope this clarifies this big misinterpretation that's still going on in some cases. And let me know in the comment section if that's clear. Let me know if you have some doubts about it and I'll be happy to clarify them. If you want a better, clearer explanation about why the sensation that notes assume in musical context is dependent on the function that the notes assume inside the key, then I suggest you watch a video that I made where I talk about multiple scientific studies that clearly show how our perception of musical pitch works and why interval exercises are not a good approach to ear training because they don't follow, they don't respect the natural way in which our perception of musical pitch develops. You can find a link up here or in the description section below. That being said, I hope this video has been helpful to you. I really suggest you check out our website and our video course on your training. You can find all the links in the description section below. And if you're serious about your training, consider leaving a like to this video, subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section below. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.